What do I got? What do I got? I got one, guys. Got one. Got one. I can't believe it. Pretty decent one, too, guys. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, this is a nice one. Good morning, guys. Uh, Bill with Fishing with O'Dad, and um, we're out here at one of my favorite places, and we're going to start fishing for some bass. Uh, we're going to start off with a uh, Ned rig, and then we'll see what happens. Uh, so, uh, it's a beautiful morning. Uh, it was really crisp and clear this morning. I've uh, got some clouds moving in, but uh, I think it's going to be a good day. So appreciate you watching. Get back to you in just a minute. I'm going to use a uh, Ned rig here. So see what happens. My favorite bass setups the Ned rig oh got one on guys got one on got one on first cast oh, what do I got here somebody's line I think we are going to try a top water. I got one tied on a rod. Because the Ned rig isn't doing nothing and I should have something by now. Yeah. Okay guys. We're going to do some top water. I keep getting weeds over here. <clears throat> we got this popper on. I used it the other day at somewhere. Caught some nice bass on it. So that's what it is. Well, so let's give it a shot. Oh, had a hit, guys. It was kind of a half-hearted deal he pulled. Oh, ah, man, had a good hit. Had a good hit. All right, we tied on a bluegill colored rattle trap here. Don't know if it's a real rattle trap. I don't remember, but it's very similar to it. Let's see if that, that'll be the first crankbait I've used this year. If I catch something, it'll be a miracle. Miracles still happen, I think. I'm one. I am one. Decent cast there. And they do rattle and vibrate. I have a feeling that we're going to really work hard to get a fish today. Now what? Now what? Uh, 
Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Okay, we're going to go with a wacky rig right here. And we're using a Yum Dinger Pearl Silver Flake. So that's what we're using right there. Let's try that. Nothing else is working. I tried a Ned rig, but that didn't work too good. I kept pulling weeds up. This is a lot more weedless. Oh, what do I got? What do I got? I got one, guys. Got one. Got one. I can't believe it. Pretty decent one, too, guys. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, this is a nice one. Oh, this is probably the, my biggest one out of here. Oh, man. Oh, man, guys. Look at him. Look at him. Oh, look at this guy. Look. Oh. Oh! Oh! You're beautiful, baby. You're beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Beautiful. Ah, there you go. Free to go. Free to go. Look at him go. Oh, man, that's my, that's the biggest one I think I've ever caught out of here. And I would say he's uh, three pounds, two and a half, two and a half. Oh, cool. Oh, cool. I'd say that's probably my personal best bass. Unbelievable. Thank you, Lord. Got one, guys. Got one. Got one. Got another one. This is another decent one. Yep. Another decent one. Oh, he's off. Oh. Oh. He's off. I don't even think he had the hook. Nope. Well, maybe. It's tripped. I gotta get some more wacky worm. Wacky rig hooks. Oh, I can't believe I missed that one. <clears throat> well, I had a very nice one. Uh, I know it's my personal best, that's for sure. And I think I lost one just as big. Oh, got one, guys. Ah!
Oh, there we go. Ah, I missed him again. They're not grabbing the hook, they're grabbing the worm. Okay, got him now. Got him now. Got him now. Yeah, another decent bass. Not a, certainly not as big as that last one, but a nice bass. All right, on the wacky rig. fellas. I'd say he's a good pound, pound and a quarter. So I'm thinking that last one, that last one was, was a three pounder. Easy. Uh, it's got to be my personal best bass. Yeah. Okay. You're in the movies. <clears throat> Thanks for being on the show. <clears throat> well, the pearl colored wacky rig here. The yum. Boy, you ran that clear up the line. Two bass, two very nice bass, especially that first one. I uh, would have had a third, but El Stupido. Oh, 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 got another one, guys. Got another one. All right. That was just a slow reel then. Oh, he's another decent one. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Man. Quality fish today. Quality fish. Yes. 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 On the wacky rig. Yeah. Comes through for me. We'll get you out, buddy. We'll get you out of the jail. There you go. Yeah. Man, another nice bass. Same as that second one. Ooh. Ah, uh, here you go. Now what I'm using here is a VMC Wacky Rig hook. <clears throat> and they're weedless. Oh, oh, here we go. Oh, missed it, missed it, he missed it. Yeah, yeah, he's taking it, he's taking it. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. <clears throat> nope, he didn't have it. Oh, he's back. He's running. Huh? Man. Come on, come on, take it, take it, take it, take it, take it, take it. Take it. Okay, got him, got him, got him. Another quality one. 
Another quality bass. Haven't had a lot of numbers, but they all been decent. Well, he's a short, stubby fella. Oh, he really scarfed it up. He did, he did. He's just a short, stubby guy, but he's junky. Where'd I hook him? Oh, I see it. Got him out. All right. Yeah, short, stubby feather. <laughs> Quality bass. Boy, the wacky rig's coming through, man. The wacky rig and pearl. Should have had six, but four quality, quality bass. All right, uh, wacky rig bite just dropped off, so we're gonna We're going to try for whatever on a eighth ounce jig head and big split tail uh, grub. Did real good at this at another place here last week. In fact, I caught my personal best bluegill on it. Thing was enormous, so enormous it was grotesque. So we're gonna try this out. Cast like a dream, all as always, with this Abu Garcia reel. Hooked up, hooked up, hooked up, hooked up, hooked up. Why oh, you running toward me like crazy? Uh, another nice quality bass, I think. Yeah. Not a bad one. Yeah, pretty decent bass. Yeah. On the... On the big... Swirl tail, split tail, jobby. We'll leave a link in the description. Not a bad bass, not as big as my others, but I'll take it. I haven't had a bite for a while, so take anything. Oh boy, look at that big baby. A bird just pooed. Well, it's five bass. Oh, hooked up, hooked up, hooked up. Oh, this is a good one, too. Oh, yes. 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 Well, this is a nice one. 
this is a very nice one. Peel and drag. Tighten up a little. Get out of those rocks. Oh, this is another quality bass. Oh, had one case in it. Oh, this is another nice one. Oh, man, what a day. What a day. What a day. Look at this, guys. Oh, he's a chunk. This one's a two pounder, easy. Easy two pounder. Man. Man, what a day. What a day. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Okay. Thank you for being on the show, young man. Get bigger. Oh, that's six bass. Two on this. Twirly tail, squirrel tail thing. What a day. What a day. three on the split curly tail twirly tail grub oh had a bump oh hooked up hooked up hooked up hooked up fish eight if I land it I don't know what it is small bass crappie bluegill who knows another small bass no it's a crappie oh it's a crappie cool Beautiful, beautiful little feller. Thanks for being on my show. Away you go. Kind of singing a song about take me to the river, drop me in the water. If anyone out there has one of those rubber bass that's mounted to a board, it was popular back in the 80s or 90s. And it sang, take me to the river, drop me in the water. And there was another song, and I can't think of it. If anybody has one of those, knows where I can get one, just please respond to at my email address at uh, fishingwithodad at gmail.com. That's fishingwithodad at gmail.com. Been looking for one. Found one uh, last year, last spring. And the guy wanted like 30 to 40 bucks for it. And I go, you got to be nuts. I think it was $40 he wanted for it. Oh, there is a nice bass. A very nice bass. took it. He took it. I don't believe it. I got him. 
Woo! I just dropped it down there and he, man, he scarfed it. Woo wee! Oh, oh, I broke my line. But I got him. I got him. Another quality fish. Good pound and a half. Cool. That was worth coming over here. I caught uh, eight, eight bass. Three of them were small. Two were pound and a half. A uh, couple were two pounds, and I caught my personal best, which was, I'm sure, well over three pounds. Uh, couldn't get in half my scale. So, largest bass I've ever caught. I fished for 62 years, 61 years, something like that, and uh, never caught a bass that big. So it has been a great morning. Uh, I'm just thrilled. Uh, so it's been two personal bests in the last week. Uh, that was my personal best bluegill, which was enormous. You'll see that in a video. And, uh, and now my personal best bass. Uh, just, it's just been awesome. So uh, appreciate you watching. Thanks for all of my new subscribers. And uh, you know what, guys? We'll see you next time out on the water.